God's plan for the salvation of humanity is not an afterthought. The Bible says that Jesus was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. This clearly illustrates the consideration of a loving God for fallen humanity. But is your worship and approach to God's instructions led by second thoughts? In response to the example set by the greatest giver, the Apostle Paul admonished the believers in Corinth to also plan their giving. On the first day of every week, each one of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with your income, saving it up. Giving that is planned honors the receiver. Think about your feelings when you receive a belated birthday note from someone you consider close and important to you. It's an awkward feeling, isn't it? Sometimes the message comes when they see your social media post thanking others for their well wishes. These belated notes are rarely the most valued. This happens because we want to show someone that they count and are special. We usually mark our calendar and even add a reminder for us not to miss the opportunity to demonstrate it. The best expression of love is both spontaneous and planned. What type of giver are we when we express love and thanks to God? Do we depend solely on the prompting of our impulses and feelings? Do we ask the deacon to wait while we dig deep into our purse or pocket? Or do we remember about returning tithe and giving regular and systematic offerings every time we see an expectedly higher balance on our bank statement at the end of the month? How do we honor the Savior who does not treat us as an afterthought? As we worship God with our tithe and promise, let us show that our God is first and foremost. May we put our desires last and God first.